Cloudshell Editor gives you the power to easily write code from your web browser and deploy it to the cloud. In previous videos, we learned how to deploy applications to Cloud Run and Google Kubernetes Engine. We also learned about the cloud code integration and how it provides convenient tools to debug applications and use Google Cloud APIs. But what if you want to collaborate with teammates? Cloudshell Editor has you covered with version control and support for multiple projects. Let's take a look and learn more. First, visit ide.cloud.google.com to launch Cloudshell Editor. Cloudshell Editor gives you the power to manage multiple projects as workspaces. A workspace usually represents the root folder of your project, as well as project-specific configuration files. With workspaces, you can specify persistent settings, run and debug configurations, and UI states for all the folders in your workspace. Here we can see some recent workspaces for this user. To open the home workspace that's created for you automatically, click Open Home Workspace. This opens up the home workspace, displaying all of its folders and files in the Explorer panel. To create a new workspace, we'll first want to create a new directory to use as our workspace. Right-click on the Explorer panel and select New Folder. Give your new folder a name and click OK. Let's also go ahead and add a new file to this folder. Once your directory is ready, you can open it as a new workspace with File Open Workspace. You can also configure settings for your individual workspaces. Settings are accessible by opening File, Settings, Open Preferences. Here, you can adjust two different types of settings, User Settings and Workspace Settings. User Settings apply to all your instances of Cloud Shell Editor, while Workspace Settings apply only to your currently active workspace. Closing a workspace is easy. Just select File, Close Workspace. This will bring you back to the Cloud Shell Editor homepage. Now let's learn about how to use source control with Git from Cloud Shell Editor. Click Open Home Workspace to open your home workspace. Now let's go ahead and load some sample code from GitHub. Open the command palette by selecting View, Find Command. Type git clone and click on it. Next, you'll be prompted to type in the git repository that you want to clone. After typing in a GitHub URL, press Enter to continue. CloudShell Editor clones the files for your sample application from GitHub into a new folder allowing you to work across multiple repositories at the same time. Right-click on the folder created for your new repository and select Open as Workspace. You should see the list of code files only for this repository. Here we have a simple Python Flask web application. Now let's try editing the code and pushing the change to GitHub. Open the main.py file and replace Hello World with Hello Google. Cloudshell Editor will save your changes automatically. On the left side of your screen, you should see that the source control icon has a blue circle with a one inside it. This means that we have a new code change we may want to commit. Click on the source control icon to open the source control git panel. Now we see that we have a code change in main.py. You can click on it to open the diff view, which shows what you've changed versus the previous commit. Hover over the main.py file in the source control git panel and click the plus button to save your changes. When you're ready to check in your changes, you can do so directly within CloudShell Editor. But first, you'll need to configure git. Select Terminal, New Terminal to open a new CloudShell terminal window. From here, run the following two commands to set up git from command line. Then, back in the source control git panel, write a commit message and click the check mark to check in your code change. Now you're ready to push your change to GitHub. Back in the Cloud Shell terminal window, run git push. Type in your GitHub username and password to push your commit to the master branch. Let's head over to GitHub to verify that our change was actually pushed successfully. Based on the information about the latest commit, it looks like we're good to go. You can also manage source control from the git status bar at the bottom of your screen. Right now we're on the main branch, but we can click on it to switch to a different branch or create a new branch. 
There's also a Synchronize Changes button. Synchronizing changes pushes local changes to your upstream branch and pulls remote changes into your local repository. With just a couple of clicks, we're able to get started with source control and push a change to a Git repo. If you want to experience for yourself all that Cloud Shell Editor has to offer, just visit ide.cloud.google.com, where we have interactive tutorials to help you get started. For more videos on Cloud Shell Editor and a whole lot more, make sure to subscribe to the channel.